Hey guys and welcome back to another 642 fingers to draw video. I'm going to do something a little different this week. I asked on my YouTube community tab about Q&A, like questions, so I'm going to be answering some questions that you peeps have asked me. <laughs> but first let's have a look and see what prompt it is today. Oh, let's put that over there. It's stuck to my hand. <laughs> right, let's see. A string quartet. Wow. I have no idea what that is, so I'm going to have to Google it. Right, this is what a string quartet looks like. Let me just... can see that but yeah that's where I'm gonna try and draw <laughs> oh dear right I hope that's in focus <sighs> it's a shame about this I actually got a real good advice about spraying fixative on it first so it doesn't go through so thank you so much for that Right, let's get into the questions. So the first question was from Maddie. She said, if you had the opportunity to collab with any artist in the world for a piece, for art piece, who would you choose and why? Uh, do they have to be alive? <laughs> um, if not, I would, I would definitely love to there's a dog barking next door and it's really annoying <laughs> so I'm sorry if you can hear that anyway I would probably say I would collab with Bob Ross we don't we don't make mistakes we have happy accidents 100% I would collab with Bob Ross because I feel like I would learn so much from just one one lesson and obviously it'd be a real good experience to try what's it called oil paints so yeah that's who I would clap with <laughs> but if you want me to pick someone who is alive I would probably pick Oh, that's a hard question. Can you even see what I'm drawing here? I'll zoom in so you can see. I'm not sure where I left off, but my iPad kept switching off because I left it on the auto thing. <laughs> but I've got it back now. But yeah, um, I would probably collab with Drawing With Waffles. Or maybe Bailey J. Hmm, I would probably say those. I'd say Bailey J actually because she's one of my favourites. I'm going to give this guy nice thick pants. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> tell that this is a man playing a thingy, a violin, and he's sat on a stool. Right, let's get to the next question. Um, when did you start to draw? I started drawing when I was a tiny little baby. <laughs> no, I, I took art seriously probably when I was... Um, in 2016, so I would have been about... How old would I have been in 2016? How old am I now? 22... 18? No. 18. I think. See, at school we could only take one creative subject and I picked music because obviously I play 
guitar and a few musical instruments and I love music so I, I chose to take that instead but recently I fell in love with artwork and that's why I'm doing that now if that makes sense <laughs> I forgot this man's bow I need to put that in here I think they're all the same instrument actually it looks like it all right so the next question do you have any small art youtuber channels you'd recommend or even instagram artists i'm looking for artsy friends hmm small youtube artists i have a few actually i have a few on instagram which I need to, you know, just give me a second and I'll find them. Alright, so I'm going to do the YouTube artists first. I would definitely recommend Zakura Art. She makes some awesome YouTube videos and is way, way underrated. Um, so yeah, I'd check out Zakura Art and I'd 100% check out Jasmine Todd, who is also a great YouTuber and Instagram artist actually and again for the Instagram artists I would also recommend Rekka Rekka? That doesn't make sense <laughs> Oh my god I would also recommend um, Dave's art book and Nadia I mean oh shit I'm drawing the, the wrong bloke oh well it's fine I'll fit the other man in somewhere <laughs> I went straight to the last guy by accident Um, what was I saying again? oh yeah yeah I'd recommend those for the Instagram. That is really wonky, can you see that? <laughs> anyway, the next question is from Troy Palmer. He says, what inspires you the most to create art? Hmm. <laughs> I think a lot of things inspire me to make art, like other artists inspire me, like um, at the moment I'm into the doodles and that's mainly because of Gox art which is a, a YouTuber. I'd highly recommend his channel too. And basically I, I kind of like just studying different styles to see what I like best. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, nature events I guess also inspire my artwork. <clears throat> the next question is, oh I've had so many of these uh, questions. Will you ever do a face reveal? <laughs> um, will I ever do a face? Probably, probably. I mean it's not really crossed my mind <laughs> but I probably will do one eventually. If this video gets three, mil three, three million likes then I'll do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, this guy was supposed to be on the end but he's, he's not. So I'm going to have to start again on this. Well not start again but do this bit different. I hope you can tell that this is a string quartet by the way. <laughs> Alright so the next question What sub number will you be willing to show your face at? Uh, 3 million subscribers <laughs> 3 million subscribers and 3 million likes on this video. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. 
All right, so the next question we have is from Dave, and he asked if I can find it. What is your favourite drawing ever? And if I zoom out, I have this sketchbook here, and my favourite drawing is in here. It whoops! If I can get it to go round. It's this one, which I made in 2017. It's a drawing of Billie Eilish, if you don't know who that is. She's a singer. I guess it's my blue. <laughs> I guess it's my favourite one because it's the first time I ever really felt like I'd gotten somewhere with my realism. So yeah. This is my favourite drawing ever. <laughs> right. Um, I need to find some more questions. <laughs> All right. So the next question is: What would you? What would you? I mean, what? What did you want to be when you were a kid, and why? When I was a kid, I wanted to be a firewoman and a police woman and an explorer. Why? I'm not really sure. I just, I just did. Um, let's see. Why did you choose to be an artist? Did anyone inspire you? If so, who? Um, why did I want to be an artist? Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. It's actually got me thinking. I'm not. I'm not really sure. I think I just. I just enjoy drawing. I guess. Like it's just something that takes my mind off other things and it's a great way to do that and because it helps I just keep doing it so yeah, drawing makes me happy so that's why that's why I'm doing it I guess uh, the next question is I'm a perfectionist and because of that I cannot really make art because I want everything to be perfect how do I deal with that? Well, <laughs> that's also something that I have struggled with, perfectionism and not wanting to draw because it's not perfect, like it's not how you want it to be. And the way I got over that was to do it badly. <laughs> just do it and do it bad if that makes sense because then each time you draw again you're just gonna get better that probably makes no sense but I'm sure I've seen that quote somewhere someone saying do it badly hmm anyway I've sketched these out and I'm not sure whether to go over them with ink shade them in uh, that's a good question. I will actually. I'll get my coloured pencils out and I will do that if I can find them. Here somewhere. Right. Um another question is what genre of music do you listen to while drawing or working? Hmm. Sometimes I will listen to... Sometimes I will listen to classical music. And then other times I will listen to my favourite band, which is Chase Atlantic. And that's usually what I listen to. Sometimes I'll listen to just YouTube videos 
on in the background, like sort of draw with me videos. And the next question is, do you play Roblox? Um, no. <laughs> what is your favourite thing to draw? That would probably be skulls. I love drawing skulls. And Spongebob. <laughs> Another question is, how many different mediums do you work in? Tim watercolour, markers, pencil, graphite, charcoal, uh, soft pastels, oil pastels. But my favourite would definitely just be pencil. <laughs> wow, look at that. That went weird, that shoe, didn't it? Anyway, I'm, I'm probably just going to colour the rest of this. Someone also commented about having this be like a set on a set day and I got thinking about it and I think I might keep this episode to a Sunday every Sunday so um, leave a comment below if you would like this to be once a week and it would be on every Sunday I don't think I've got a skin colour um, Nah, I'll do it this colour This is like one of those gesture drawings I think Is that what you call them? Gesture drawings? I'm not sure I'm not really sure what style this is Messy. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> uh, I suppose I could answer some more questions. What was the first piece of art that you posted online and which platform? The first piece of art I ever posted online was on Instagram, my Instagram account. Uh, link will be in the top of the description if you want to follow that. And it was a drawing of Ellie Goulding, which was at the time one of my favourite artists to listen to because I'd been supporting her since she started making music. So I drew her several times. <laughs> I drew her as a graphite drawing, a realistic graphite drawing. I can actually put that up on the screen now so you can see. And I was very proud of it as well. And that was back in 2016. Yeah, that's when I started my Instagram in 2016. Oh, that was a while ago. <laughs> Should probably read what a string quartet is actually. I'm going to give this guy blue hair because he deserves blue hair. <laughs> oh dear. This has turned out better than I thought it would actually. I was quite nervous when I saw the prompt. Because I've never drawn anything like this whatsoever. <laughs> I'm going to look for another question. What are your goals as an artist? Example, go to school for artistry, be a YouTuber artist forever, <laughs> etc. Hmm. What are my goals as an artist? I would probably... Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk, I can't even say that word. I would probably say 
it would be to do commissions. That's something I've always wanted to do. But I get quite nervous about it and I feel like my art isn't worth the commission, if you know what I mean. If that makes sense. I did, I did do a portrait for somebody and oh my god it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I was so nervous because I thought what if this, what if they don't like it, you know, what if I ruin it halfway through, I spent so long on it, is it even worth the money that I have asked for, yeah, it would be to do commissions, 100%, but obviously I lack in confidence in that area, so it's, it's a tricky one, I'm sure one day I'll get, I'll get more confident about taking them and doing them, and yeah, maybe one day I'll be able to make it as an artist. It's obviously a hard thing to go into. It's not something a lot of people approve. Oh, that's not a real job. You know, be a lawyer or a teacher or something like that. Um, but yeah. Have any of you been watching any films recently? I recently watched a Amazon Prime um, original and it was called The Beautiful Boy which was such an amazing film. I would highly recommend watching that. Uh, I won't give too much away but it's basically about a boy and his father's relationship and the boy sort of is a drug addict sort of thing. Yeah, uh, it's something you'd have to watch, I can't really explain it, but yeah, it's a great film. Do you know what? I actually like this drawing. I think I've done alright. I think his hair needs to be a bit more orangey. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was too bright compared to the others. And we're on to the last dude. I ain't really got any life updates for you. I just want to say um, a huge thank you again though to everyone that has been supporting this channel and all the new people. Hello, if you're watching this. I'm, I'm so excited to get more content out and you'll have to make sure to watch out for next Friday's video because that is going to be a big video for me. I've worked very hard on it um, and I'm looking forward to posting it so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that one. Uh, what else can I say? Well yeah make sure to like this video and comment below what you think or any suggestions or whether you have done this prompt could even tag me on Instagram so I can see it. And yeah, I'm gonna say that that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe. That's what all the YouTubers say these days. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> um. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with
um, another video and I'll give you a close up of this so you can see.